G'day folks. Well, as I start to work through the uh, collection of other equipment autopsy equipment, um, I figured I'd pull this out first and have a bit of a look at it. Um, getting a couple of servers soon and I've also got the uh, Intel SSH4 Quad Xeon server sitting around. Uh, probably won't use the SSH4 as the main house server, the central server, but I'm getting a couple from work soon when I get around to uh, formatting them. Uh, and I'm just wondering if I should use this PIX firewall whether there's any point I mean it's a local home network but I do have several computers on it and security is pretty high on my uh, priority list apart from actual security cameras and things which is all sorted I'm curious about network security now I don't use Wi-Fi everything is Ethernet 10 100 or gigabit Ethernet these have Intel 10100 cards in them, which is more than adequate for what I do. But I'm going to open this up and give you a bit of a look at what's inside it. They're a uh, fairly expensive bit of kit, I'm led to believe. It's made by Cisco Systems, uh, it's West, West Tansman Drive, San Jose, California, USA. Hmm, nice piece of equipment. But let's open it up and have a bit of a look at what's inside. And it's a PIX520. It also has the operating system disk in it, which is, I think is the most important part. I think Jay the Aussie gave me this for autopsy, but I figure if we can put it to some use, it's uh, not a bad thing. Yeah. PIX boot helper 6.1. Clearly I've got a cover on this for a reason. <laughs> that disc's probably quite important. Now I don't have a console for it and I don't have the failover connection or anything, whatever that is supposed to be. Either that or it goes to the main server. Uh, console could also go to the server, I guess. It looks like a normal uh, RS-232 connection. The reboot button. Hmm, interesting rack mount, I'll give it that much. I don't have a rack for anything like this, but I'm sure I can find one somewhere along the way. Uh, it's the only piece of rack mount equipment I have. The servers that I'm getting are not rack mounted. The original SSH4 casing was rack mounted, but the casing was never available with this server board system, so I'm going to build that into my own little wall mount when I get time. There used to be a sheet and everything over that, but I've got to, I've got to, got to get onto that before too much dirt and stuff builds up on it. It's fine as it is, but yeah, I was going to do that last weekend. Okay, well that's interesting. It's more simplified than I thought. It's got a standard ATX mainboard in it and a Pentium 2 CPU. Normal uh, early... Uh, PC-133 RAM or PC-100 even. Uh, I'm not sure what the Pentium 2 is. It's definitely a P2. I see part of the code there. I'm going to have to remove this floppy disk drive. I'm not sure without removing the whole front of the machine. <laughs> That's the hard part. I've got to pull the whole damn thing apart. But It's an old Pentium 2 CPU. It might be easier just to put a graphics card in there and boot it up, see what it comes up with. Uh, we've got, obviously got three Intel 10 100 megabit uh, network cards. That's the interesting card. That's doesn't have the connectors on it. The connectors are connected all the RS-232 and the other one's connected through here to the uh, serial port. It's both of them. Either that or one of them's maybe video. I'm not sure, there's two serial ports on the bottom of the main board there. Yeah, you've got console and fail, fail over. So I'm guessing this board has two serial ports on the front of it. And uh, looks like it's an LPT and that's about it. And a couple of USB and keyboard and mouse, which you don't get any access to. They're just using a standard main board, a standard Intel main board. Yeah, it's a 
is it Intel E139761 I think that's the code on it, I can't see anything else it's got a very slim Northbridge heatsink on it yeah, this thing's going to take a bit more investigation I don't really have time tonight but I'll uh, give you this bit of the video to start with yeah this thing's interesting there's more to it than I thought but it's basically a miniature PC well it, it is a PC it's just designed to operate on a specific operating system this card here has two big Intel flash memory chips on it so that's probably part of its own operating system and it uses the uh, disk for boot up hmm yeah I'd like to throw a PCI or AGP graphics card in here and see what it actually displays when it starts up assuming it will display something I'm guessing that it did have to because it's a standard ATX mainboard but yeah that's kind of interesting I think this thing will be quite useful as a uh, network firewall it'll go together well with the uh, video and audio recording system and everything that I've got it'll help protect files once I get the main file server going the main file server is going to have six um, single connector SCSI drives on them on it it'll be a, I think it's a dual Xeon IBM so that'll have six SCSI hard drives probably a big mechanical IDE drive like one uh, I don't know I don't think it'd have SATA on it so I can't really go up like a terabyte but I'll see how much storage I can put on there and yeah this will all be installed in a uh, closet or a server rack or something like that again with UPS backup and everything I'll try and uh, make this place as high tech and automated as possible with central file storage and double redundancy in case of hard drive failure um, yeah let's bring the uh, Ed Systems Workshop into the 23rd century or 21st or something like that 22nd century <laughs> let's go ahead in time time travel or in this case back to the 90s <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely time for me to have dinner and go to bed. I'm losing the plot. Thanks for watching.